My name is Allison, and this is Minnie. My name is Lily. We're from Paducah, Kentucky, and you're watching TJV. Good morning, you fine internet people. All of you sitting there on your phone. Nothing better to do than watch Trucker Josh. Santa's my homie. Just wanna get that out there right away so you know we're tight like that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kinda tired because I just finished editing 10 vlogs and here I'm just Finally, it wasn't responding. Now I gotta just render the last one. There we go. That was 1863. So that was the one yesterday's. I was a little bit behind. A little bit. Just a bit. Just 10 vlogs behind. So I sat here all day yesterday while Britt was at work. All day editing vlogs. And today she just left for work again. I just had to finish up this last one yesterday's. And uh, we're finally done. So now we have Christmas to work on. There's always something to do. I wish I could just like sit there on the couch and play video games like I used to when I was a kid. I would just sit there, but nope. I am an adult. I may not act like one, but uh, well, life says that I'm one. The bank definitely treats me like an adult. They want their money now. So that's why I work so hard. But today's my day off. We're not working hard today. Today we're putting up Christmas lights. That we do for free, in the name of Christmas. All this stuff here I was showing you yesterday, these are all clips that I use to hook onto the, uh, the eaves troughs or the shingles. They hook on like that onto the eaves troughs or upside down like that onto the shingles. We gotta do uh, two more strands on the back of the house today and I uh, gotta do all the way around the garage. It's a lot of work to do yet, but the garage will be pretty easy because it's just like a straight, just a regular peak and I can actually get on that roof because that roof still has shingles on it. We put a metal roof on this roof and, or we put a metal roof on this summer, as you guys know, and I don't want to go up there right now because it's winter time and going up on a metal roof in winter time is asking for bad things to happen because it gets very, very slippery. But the garage, however, still has shingles. So I can go up there on winter time and uh, uh, it's not as dangerous but I have a, a ladder. I borrowed a really big ladder from my dad. I don't, I need a big ladder, but I don't have my own yet. So I borrowed his and the Christmas tree. Like I was showing you yesterday has a burnt out section. We don't know what happened, but uh, I'm scared to touch it because like I was telling you yesterday, if I break any of these ornaments, I'm actually standing a little too close to it. I need to back off. If I break any of them, I broke one once. All of these ornaments, not most of them, most of them are very sentimental to Brit. She loves Christmas ornaments. She loves Christmas ornaments. And uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna break them. Each one means something to her. I got her this one. Uh, it says, if love could have saved you, you would have lived forever. That's a picture of Mitzi. That was the dog that died uh, shortly after we got married actually. And uh, you know, it's very, very special to her. And uh, there's a lot of these other ones that I don't even know all the stories to, but a lot of them she got from her parents or her family or something. And uh, like there's this one up here. <laughs> one of the first ornaments I think she made for her dad at one point. And now she has it again and she always puts it on the tree. It means a lot to her, so I don't want to break them. Where's the one that I broke? Where is it? it used to have like a glass bell around it with a little guy hanging in the middle. And she told me, don't touch the tree, don't touch the tree. This was the first year we were together our first Christmas together, and I, I didn't know any better yet. I was, uh, I was new. I didn't listen, and I went close, and I tapped the tree, and it fell, and it shattered right in front of her. And uh, I'm still alive, so there's that. Where is my, where is it? Well, maybe I don't want to find it, I don't know. Don't go too close, don't go too close. I don't know where it is right now. That's fine, whatever. But uh, 
I lived to see another Christmas, so now I know. Do not touch the tree. I don't care. Those lights are burnt out. They're going to stay burnt out till after Christmas, till we take all the ornaments off. Then I'll figure out what's going on with it, and we'll get a new tree next year. Needed a new one anyways. I want a bigger tree, fuller tree, a wider tree. More Christmas! Diesel, that's not howling. You're doing a good, you're doing a good job. What's going on here? What in tarnation? What y'all doing over here? Quiet down. Well, you guys stay in here and practice your howling, okay? I'm gonna go out here and feel what the weather's like out here. I gotta, I gotta finish these lights. <sighs> A little colder than I'd like it to be. See, I got all the way up around the back here and up there, but not quite done back here yet. You see, it only goes a little ways down. It's probably about two more strands back here yet. That's cool. That's all right. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I just, like I said, I, I wish I would have done this earlier. Can you see them? I got the back done. All the way around the house is done now. And we got the front of the garage done. We gotta do the rest of the garage tomorrow yet. But we got the front done. I got one more day at home yet, I can finish it tomorrow. Gotta go around there. This will work better at night, but you wanna see something cool? <laughs> Got the whole house on a remote switch. Or we can put it on a timer. Uh, there's sensor, two hour, four hour, six hour, eight hour, or just off and on. My water cup's empty, guys. This is my dedicated water cup. Trying to drink lots of water. Lots and lots of water. It's good for you. Not too much water, but lots of water. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Brit has really uh, opened my eyes to a lot of things like this in life that are just healthier for me. Because before I had met her, I was living on my own, a bachelor. I didn't know half the stuff that I know now. Got to drink lots of water. Keep yourself hydrated. I want this body to last a long time. It's sort of like greasing your truck, you know? You want to grease your truck regularly so that it lasts a long time. You want to grease your body every day. Because I'm still young. I got no big health problems or anything yet. I'm, I'm, I'm healthy as far as I know. And uh, a lot of people be like, oh, I'm healthy. I don't have to worry about it. Well. Yeah, but I also plan on getting old one day. I wish I could get around that, you know. Modern medicine, modern technology, what it is, you'd think that they would find a way around that. But you know what, between you and me, even if they did find a way to stop the aging process and make you live longer or maybe even forever, if they ever did come up with something like that, they would never tell us. There's already seven something, eight billion people on this planet. You really gonna think they're gonna release a way for us all to live another hundred years? No, they, they might have a way of at least slowing down the aging process, making you live maybe 150 years instead of like an average 80, maybe, maybe even 200, you know, doubling your lifespan, but do they really wanna do that? I do, but can you imagine this planet if nobody died for 200 years? They would have to put birth caps on people. Like in some of the countries across the world, like India and some places in Africa where they're all having like 10, 12 babies per, per couple, they'd have to put a birth cap on because they're already overpopulated out there. We're doing fine here, I think. We're, we're, we're having babies at about a replacement rate, an average of about two babies per couple, right? Replacement, keep the population the same, still replace ourselves. But you know, in other places like that, they're having 10 babies per couple. They're overflowing, they're having too many. So you really think you're gonna give them 
The option to live longer? No, that wouldn't make any sense, because how are you going to feed them for an extra 100 years, right? Why are we talking about this? That's not what I was planning on talking about at all. I was planning on telling you about my Christmas lights. Squirrel. Okay. So the reason it's taking me so long, this is day five now of hanging up Christmas lights. The reason it's taking so long is because each individual light, I'm giving its own clip, right? I told you this yesterday, or well, in the same vlog, this is the next day. And I've got my liquid life right here, don't worry. So that's why I gotta put all these clips on here first, make sure the lights are all working. And then we take them and this strand is done. See, we've all got the clips on there. That's going on the garage. I shouldn't drag it like this, but I'm holding you guys in this hand. Watch out, weasel! Watch out, weasel! Ah! Watch out, good boy! So this one we'll put here. I already got one done over there. Just so it's easy to get. I don't want to take my shoes off when I come back in to get it. But I want to leave them inside, because if I leave them outside, then they get cold and hard, and uh, harder to work with. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... How am I looking? How am I looking? Check, see how I'm looking before I start talking to you guys today. That's what we're up to. So I got about another four strands at least that I got to put on the garage. One, two on the back, two on the side. Not five. It'll take five strands. So we got two here. So I got to put the clips on three more and then we'll be done the garage. It won't take too long to put it up there once we get out there. It's just, it's time consuming because I'm trying to do it right. But next year, we're, we're going to leave all these clips on here for next year, right? So next year is not going to be as difficult. It'll be a lot faster and I'll also know what I'm doing. So I'm sort of doing everything for the first time this year. So there's all the clips. If you're wondering what kind of clips those are, they worked great for us. Is these Noma snap-on clips. They clip onto the, the gutters just perfectly and where there is no gutters, they clip onto the shingles. So it's really, that is convenient. Well, we got the garage done today. So I'm happy with how much I've gotten done if I don't get any more done. I got two more strands of lights yet. To find somewhere to put that in. I've got a whole bunch of other decorations I can put up yet, but it took a lot longer than you'd think it would to put up those lights. First off, it was my first time and these I had to learn how to use these clips and then I'm very picky with how they get hung. They gotta look good. So I put a lot of attention to detail. And uh, it took a long time, but next year will be quicker. But then again, we're adding more to it next year, so uh, it'll probably take just as long, but we'll get more done, right? So uh, you may have noticed, we're back in the truck. We're bobtailing. We're gonna go pick up our trailer with those spools that we picked up in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. And we're going to make our way down towards Toronto. Cross the line into Eastern Canada tonight yet, probably. Maybe not. I don't know. What is this guy doing? Why did he rush in front of me just to go and park? Yeah. Huh. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here with these uh, with Main Street Christmas lights. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was it was fun. I had a lot of fun outside. The weather was great, so it wasn't too cold. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be hooked up to the trailer and on our way east. We have a two-day drive. We're going to make it two, two and a half days, but about a two full two-day drive to Toronto. We'll see you then.